It's important to know that Skype and Windows are constantly updated. The instructions in this video might be different than what you experience. If you have any questions or need more information about us, you can find us at www.xanarmar.com. You can also reach us at 302-329-8855. The first thing you need to do is go to skype.com. Once you're there, in the upper right hand corner, you'll see the sign in button. You click that, and then you'll select the sign up link. Once there, select the email option. Enter your email address here. The email address that I'm entering is a sample email address that I'll use just for demonstration purposes. Hit next. Enter in a password that you can remember. Hit next. Enter your first name and your last name. Again, the information I'm entering here is just for demonstration purposes only. Click Next. You're going to need to enter in your date of birth. Hit Next. And then what they're going to do is they're going to send you an email verification code. So go over to your email. I use Google. The verification code here is 4512. I'm going to take that code and go back to my browser and enter it here. It's important to know that your code might be different. Unless you want a bunch of emails from Microsoft, uncheck this box. Hit Next. It's going to give you a challenge code here, as you can see. I'm going to type that challenge code into the space provided. Then click Next. That's all we need to do in our browser for now. So let's go ahead and install Skype on our machine. On your Windows desktop, open the App Store. Once the App Store opens, search for Skype and select it. You'll see the button that says Get. Go ahead and click that. What that's going to do is download Skype to your machine. If Skype's already installed, the blue button won't say Get, it will say Launch. Go ahead and click the Launch button. Skype will open. Once Skype opens, you'll have the opportunity to sign in or create a new account. Now, we've already created a new account, so we could just use our email address and our password that we used in our browser to create a new account to log in here. Go ahead and use your email address to log in here that you used in the browser when you registered. Hit Next. The password that you used to set up your account in the browser from earlier, enter it here. Click Sign In. A What's New box will pop up to show you all the new features. Skype will also want to access your contacts, your camera, and your microphone. Go ahead and click Yes to all of those. To get started with your first chat, click the Chat button and then click New Chat. Here, you'll type in the Skype username of the person you would like to reach. If you don't know what the Skype username is, you can try searching for it, or it might be easier to simply send an email to your friend or family member and ask them what their username is. Type it in here. Once you've found the user, Simply click on the name and start your chat. That's it. I hope you found this tutorial easy to use. Enjoy your chat.